Hey everyone, I'm back today with another new Photoshop tutorial for you. This one is super fun. I am going to show you how to put or how to use um, an overlay and in this case in particular a sky overlay. Um, look in the comments um, below for a link so you can download, get a set of, I just downloaded a free set of <clears throat> sky overlays so you have some options to choose from. Um, but it's really simple. There's like four steps, so I'm going to walk you through it. First, get a photo open that you want to adjust the sky on. This one in particular was a senior portrait that I took last year. And I, you kind of have to visualize these photos beforehand um, and so that you have a big piece of sky to work with. But once you have your initial photo, you are going to um, download your overlays. And then once you're in Photoshop, you're going to go up to File, and you're going to go down to Place Embedded. And it's going to pop up, and it's taking me right to my overlays. Um, I'm just going to pick one, uh, probably that one that has more in the upper part. Let's see. Although any of them, any of them will look good. Let's choose this one. And then you're going to hit Place. <clears throat> And I'm going to stretch it up. It doesn't even matter if it's proportional or not. So just stretch it so it ends right at about the horizon line. And then in order to set this and apply it, you can hit the check mark up top. And from here, we're going to go to our layer palette. And you can see that it pasted or it placed that image as a new layer. And then once you have that overlay um, layer selected, you're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to hit this little command. It's a square with a circle in the middle so you can create a layer mask. And once you have that layer mask created, you are going to go over to your tool palette on the left and you're going to look for this tool. It's the gradient tool. Um, you can click and hold it down. Um, one of your other tools might be selected, one of the paint buckets, but um, select your gradient tool. And then starting at the top, oh, one more thing, make sure that your colors over here on the left, that your top color is white and your bottom color is black because we're going to we're gonna fade this um, from dark to light in our, or light to dark in our layer mask. So once you have your colors straight over here, go up to the top center of the photo, click at the very top. Hold your shift key down and drag a line down to the bottom. And that um, you can see over here on your mask, it is what is white is what is showing and what is black is what is masked out. So you're just kind of masking out the bottom of the overlay so that it blends nicely with the background. But as you can see, it's because this layer is on top, it's still, you can tell that it's over the subject and it would be really, really cumbersome to go in there and try to erase around this bow. <clears throat> so an easy way to fix that is with your overlay layer selected. And I think specifically the photo part. See how you can switch back and forth from the mask to the photo? Have the photo selected in that layer. And then right above here is your blending mode. And it's default set to normal. But if you click on this little arrow, you go down to multiply there and see how it just blends everything in and it lets the subject come through but yet you're still keeping the detail of that sky in the back so that is how simple it is to apply an overlay of a sky to your photo it really makes a difference we'll go back and look and see what it looked like at the beginning um, the beginning was here. So that's what we started with. And that's what we ended with. And even from here, you can do some more tweaks if you'd like um, by adjusting. If you go up to image, adjust, brightness and contrast. As long as you're on your overlay layer, that's what you're adjusting. So if we increase the brightness or the contrast, it kind of helps make the clouds stick out. Um, it's subtle. You can adjust your levels. 
and you can either lighten or darken it kind of makes it a little bit more dramatic so there's different options play around with it <clears throat> have fun make sure that you um, check for the link to download the free overlays and start having some fun